Okay, uh, if you haven't watched the other videos in the series, I did the Greenworks, the Ryobis, the AR Blue Cleans, the Sunjos, and now we have the Karchers. And part of the reason why I've been waiting on the Karchers is because the Karchers have the most complicated setup. Uh, even though the ARs and the Sunjos have complicated fittings, these are even more complicated, excluding this part of the line. So the reason why I'm doing this one now, these are the cubish type ones. This is called the K1700 cube. Uh, the K4s, the K5s, the K2s, the K whatevers, all the, all the 2s, 3s, 4s, and 5s have proprietary fittings and connections where these have standard uh, M22 14 millimeter connections. So I'm waiting on some more parts to see if we can adapt and make the uh, make the, the K4s and K5s a little bit more um, more usable. Spec-wise, the 4s and 5s, in comparison to these, have more flow and supposedly more output or more pressure. Uh, but these, um, I don't know, my guess is these might end up being my favorite, uh, favorite option. Uh, they are much more expensive and they don't appear to go on crazy sales. This one's 140 bucks. I think I paid 200 for it. So uh, we'll have to go back and look at the receipts. But I think in order to get this one, I think I had to pay up for it versus what, uh, what, they, what they retail for. So it uh, comes with a crappy hose, just like all of them. Uh, but like I said, we have the option uh, to do regular fittings, so 14 millimeter fittings, instead of, uh, instead of the uh, 15 millimeter fittings like the ARs and some of the others. And uh, yeah, we got the same issues with hose pliability that we have with pretty much anything. These come with a, with a uh, turbo nozzle, and a turbo nozzle is just a nozzle that spins that you, you get more, I guess uh, you're sort of getting a little bit more output or more cleaning ability by having a nozzle that spins. This is a, I believe a 15 degree, yeah, 15 degree nozzle. They're not rated. They say it's an 8.0, but there's no freaking way it's an 8.0. This is a much smaller hole. So this is rated at 1700 PSI, 1 1.2 gallons per minute. So let's see what we get. Wow. 1700 on the dot. We actually got a properly rated machine. In fairness, the Ryobis were pretty spot on too with their, with their ratings. Actually, they were a little underrated pressure wise. Okay, so let's do our flow test. So we're gonna run this for a minute. Three, two, one, go. It also appears that these are different pumps. They, uh, they sound different than all the others. Oh, I'm getting hit in the head from water. I thought it was leaking out the hose. I think these are gonna be, these measure decently with our aftermarket solution, I think these might be the ones. There's a significant weight difference between the 17 and 1800s and then the 1900 and 2000. So we'll see what happens with those pressure washers. Okay. It's Ooh, it's pulling a lot of amperage, 15 and a half amps. Now I have it on a dedicated 20 amp. I want to see if this fits. Foam cannon. Yeah, cool. So they actually did a proper depth quick disconnect. So if you wanted to just, which is kind of dumb, but if you wanted to throw your foam cannon on the end here, you could. So that's good. So we measure 1700 PSI. So my guess is we're gonna get some number less than 1.2 GPM, but we'll fix that because we're gonna bring the pressure down anyway. When we put a new aftermarket gun on here, let's get our SPL done. Actually, let's stay on, now we have Chris back, let's stay on our normal rhythm here. Twelve point four. So what is that? One point. One point one five GPM. So it's consistent. So it's spot on. Drawing quite a bit more current than the others. Seventy. So it is a little louder. These seem to be pretty sensitive to running the water out if you can, or the air running water through it. So you have a foot pedal start. We'll show you this here in a minute, but uh, these also are superior to the K4s, K5s, because they come with a proper uh, inlet fitting. Uh, these all use a 
from what I can tell, the Sunjos, the ARs, these, they have a, an, a SAE type thread. So they have a equal thread, uh, or FIP it's called. And so the IP fittings, the female, or the male IP fitting on the X on the uh, on the out or the inlet of these pressure washers is problematic. I mean, those parts are hard to find. And so these come with like a ten dollar part that's that that works much better than the plastic ones that the other machines come with. See, there's lots of air. You have to work your way through on these machines. So it seems pretty clear to me that these pumps are different. They sound different, they act differently. So hopefully Karcher's building them in China to their spec rather than just using the same factory as the rest of them. How much air, it's amazing. Yeah, there we go. 1,000 PSI. This is another interesting stat. So most of these cheap pressure washers don't stay pressurized. So when I release the trigger, uh, most of them, all of the pressure drops back down through, I guess, the inlet uh, and doesn't hold pressure. Right now we're reading 2400 PSI, very similar to the, the Krenzlas and the higher end pressure washers. They maintain pressure, so when I pull, it's more instant on than some of the others. But notice this thing sounds like a stout electric pump. Yeah, 3.0, 1000 PSI right on the dot. Three, two, one, go. It is quite a bit louder with our 3.0 nozzle on it though. So we were drawing 15 and a amp, amps, 15 and a half before, what do we got now, 10? 12.8. 12.8. So we've made it more viable on a, on a regular circuit, but I wonder if we're working the thing a lot harder now that we don't have the back pressure. Yeah, I'm reading 72 decibels over here. Fourteen point nine. One point four five. Yeah, one point four five GPM. Just what I thought. So the seventeen hundred and the seventeen hundred cube are the exact same thing. So we're not going to do that. Rating's the same, fitting's the same. It just has a handle on it. So there's no reason to run the specs because it's the exact same thing. So we'll put all the same specs there. It's the first time I'm cheating the system here. But unlike some of the others, it's very clearly identical. So I think we're still gonna draw a lot less current here than we do with the stock gun. One thing I haven't been looking at is what does the pressure do when we foam? Yeah, 1500 PSI. Good foam. Yeah, see, see we're holding pressure on these, even through the 50 foot bigger hose. That's a plus. What do we got? What was 13.6. 13 13.6 amps, so we're still within range. Uh, so 1.1, shoot. Some of these, a lot of these pressure washers, you could probably, if they made a 1.0, you could probably put that on here, but foam's pretty good. I like this thing. This is my new favorite. Sorry, Greenworks. So here's the, uh, Here's the inlet fitting I'm talking about. So they sell these, Karcher sells these, but they, this type of fitting here uh, is, uh, doesn't come with the, the, uh, the K4s and K5s. You have to buy it separately. Uh, otherwise they send a really plastic piece of crap, quick disconnect type fitting that won't last very long. So that's something that uh, I'll have to source for the K4s and K5s. All right, let's see what we get. So this is 1800 PSI, 1 1.2 GPM. What was this thing, 150 bucks? 179. 179. These aren't as readily available. They're not as popular. I've never seen these, but I really like these thus far. Let's see. It really takes a lot of effort to get the water out or the air out of these. Jeez, I don't like this. I mean, I sat there and ran the air out for three minutes. Okay, we're finally up and running. We're at uh, 1650. So interesting that the uh, 1800 PSI model gives us less pressure. Interesting, this gun is rated at 1.5 GPM maximum. <laughs> How much current we draw on this one? 
So we're drawing an amp less than we are on the 1700. 12.3. Yeah, same, same output, 1.14 GPM. So we're gonna put the same 3.0 nozzle on. I wonder if we have to put a 2.5. This one, it did have less pressure than the 1700 and considerably less. Same, 70. That's 950, that feels pretty good. Let's try two and a half, see what happens. It's probably gonna spike a little bit higher. Yeah, 1200. We stick with 3.0 on this. Three, two, one. It's amazing how much better, even just holding onto the trigger, it's just better of a Mosmatic versus like the stock gun. Amperage, 11.8 with a 3.0 nozzle. 14.4, 1.40, so similar. Uh, so that to me means the 1700 model is the way to go. Less money, more pressure with the stock gun, same output, if not slightly more. Again, a 400th difference is, could be just me starting the stopwatch and starting and stopping it incorrectly or a little bit sooner or a little later. So our foam cannon. Same deal, 1200 PSI with the foam cannon. Good, good to go, 12.9 amps, 1.1 millimeter orifice. 1900 PSI, different gun, has the uh, stainless end on it, so you could you know, you can quick disconnect it like this. You know, put the foam cannon on here instead of all the way on the end, but you could, you know, the foam cannon fits on the end here too. These come with a 40 degree nozzle as well as a 15, but just to stay consistent, we'll leave the 15 on. This is 1900 PSI rated at 1.3 GPM, and it's quite a bit heavier, like, like 10, 15 pounds heavier. Okay, so yeah, 18 pounds heavier. How much does this thing weigh? 39.3. Yeah, 39.3 pounds versus the other was 21. Yeah. Considerably different pump. Oh, sounds different. Yeah, this is 230 bucks. That sounds legit. Still the same thing with air. It takes a long time to run the air out. I can clean the line. This is the part I don't get. Everybody's like, well, I'm gonna clean my driveway. What are you gonna do? This is gonna take you like the rest of your life. You need 5,000 PSI to do anything to your driveway. You'd be sitting here like this, doing nothing. Gee whiz, man. You still got air. You gotta blow through a couple gallons of water just to get it up and running. Figures, they all have to have their little quirks. Krenzler doesn't have any quirks, it just works. We should measure how high we can shoot it without the, uh, what kind of rainbow can we get without the nozzle on it? I mean, how is there still air? We're at 1875. So spot on. It just takes a half an hour to get it up and running. I mean, I mean, you can tell this is a real pressure washer, just a cheap version from a real pressure washer company. Or the other ones are real or fake pressure washers from fake pressure washer companies. So this is rated at 1.3. Right at 1900 PSI, 1875. I'm hoping we get over, over, uh, overrated GPM. It appears to be quieter, but I think it's actually louder. We'll see. Yeah, right at 15 amps, 14.8. Twelve point eight, so one point two. 
Yep. My math is getting good at memorizing. I wonder if we'll be able to run a three and a half on this thing. Oh, let's get our SPL. Shoot. Same, 70. Just a different, different sound. Lower. Sounds more stout to me. It appears this pump has uh, much better protections while the air runs through. Like it clearly doesn't ramp up until it's ready to go, until it fully pressurizes. Although it sounds like it's on and ready to roll. Not as good. That's 1225. That's the way to go on this one. Because otherwise we only get about 875 with a 3.0. That's really good actually. Ah, my finger's stuck. 2.5 it is. Some people are gonna get really mad that old Maddie gets to make that judgment call. What basis did you use to get this information? Well, I just stuck my fingers in front of it and made a choice. Yeah, so these, uh, on all these cartridges, we're quieting them down a little bit when we put a... Actually, no, the others, the smaller ones got louder with the bigger nozzle. These are quieter. Oh, uh, 13.5. Only 1.3 and change. 1.28. 1.28 GPM. That's a crying shame there, people. But still, 1.28 to 1.38 is not a uh, remarkable difference. I'm really interested to see what the K4s and K5s do now. But I don't have the right stuff to get a gauge on them. I need like 75 fittings to make it work. Good to go, 1300 PSI, 1.1 millimeter orifice. 11.4. 11.4 amps. It's not even breaking a sweat. So what did our 1700 PSI model do? It did 1.45 GPM. This just sounds so much more stout, but they're sacrificing flow for pressure, and I don't like that. Okay, this one, 2000, 230, right? Or 250, 260, 259 for this one has a hose reel, which is never a good thing. And it has a proprietary connection going to the hose reel, but at least this hose reel is useful. Running the water out beforehand really doesn't help. So this would be a hose extension only without some kind of crazy Karcher adapter. It's just not gonna work to put an aftermarket hose on it. 1890. <laughs> 1890 is what we're going with. Come on, 2,000 PSI, don't let me down. Let's, let's, let's make a good showing here. 12.7, same 1.2 GPMs. 1.19, that's junk. Same thing, 2.5, 1,200 PSI. gonna get the same darn GPM too, isn't it? Let's play the SPL. Oh, shoot. We're, it's the same. We're cheating it. Cut that out. Sounds about the same. It's the same darn pump. You know, it's the same pump, same everything. What was the PSI? They were, like, one was 75 PSI more than the other? Stock? Stock, 1890. 75, 1650, Yeah, so same old, the 2000 and the, the 2000 and the, uh, the 1900 are the same freaking thing. This one has a hose reel and they, they put a 2000 on it to uh, make it look fancier. Yep. Same as the uh, 19. So neither one of these. I wouldn't choose either one of them. I wish we could get that motor dialed up to a little bit better 
flow spec. Foam cam is going to be the same. Same deal. 11.2. Yep, 11.2 amps, good to go. Okay. So the Karchers, there's going to be some delay. I'm going to have, have a lot of stuff, a lot of videos that do on the 1M and the M3. So uh, it's probably going to be a few weeks before I get the right parts for the K4s, K5s to wrap up the Karchers. Uh, I will have a uh, Krenzla test coming up here soon, a uh, Comet test. Uh, I'm going to order the, uh, the crappy Sunjo Pro that everybody's so excited about. I'm going to also get a hold of the AR Blue Clean, um, but the, you know, the AR is 800 bucks, so you might as well just buy a Krenzla. Uh, so we're going to work on those, and uh, so just be patient with me on the Karchers. I need the fittings, and the fittings are hard to get. So I'll catch you, uh, catch you soon on the next one. We're getting close to wrapping up this project, uh, and then we'll have some aside, some ancillary stuff when new pressure washers come out, and uh, i got to get a hold of Briggs & Stratton, Stanley, Craftsman, all those as well. So. Stay tuned for more crazy. We'll uh, we'll finish up the cartridge here soon. Because what happens when the when the force pulls you back, your foot naturally comes off the gas. You have to keep your foot to the floor, to the floor, to the floor.